Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this short video you will learn how to display your product categories or sub categories in Elementor for free. So if you have a Wolfis e-commerce store and you want to display your product categories or sub categories on an Elementor page and different formats like these, you can see this will be a category image, the title, and this whole item will be linked to this specific category. This is demo one. We have another demo where this number will indicate the number of products inside this category. We have another one which show products an hour. This is another demo. So the category name and an hour it display the number of products. Another one and this one. You can display a list of category like this. And on the right side, you can display your own content. We have another layout. And another one. So in this way, you can display your categories. And this is for the subcategories, okay? We have this shape. And this one. And so on. So let's see how we can do it. And the plugin that we will be using in this video is Ultimate Store Kit. I have a detailed video about this plugin already. So make sure to watch it. And by using this plugin, we can create different types of product grids, carousel, sliders, card page, checkout pages and so on. And to download the plugin, just go to the first link in the description where you can explore these demos as well. And you can download this plugin here for free. Just click download. And you will get a zip file like this. Now you can just upload this to your Wordface. Go to your Wordface dashboard and make sure to have some product categories with images. Okay. You can create categories by just typing the category name. You can choose a parent category if you want to and then add a thumbnail to it. So just click here and add an image and type in category name and that's it. Then click add new category and you will get your category here okay let's delete it for now we have these categories already so let's see how we can display them in elementor first we will need to install that plugin so let's go to plugins add new and click upload plugin choose file and select the ultimate store kit plugin open install now and activate it and that's it. If you want to enable or disable any element, you can go to Ultimate Store Kit. And go to WooCommerce Widgets and switch to Free. And you can enable and disable these based on your need. So just search for Category and make sure to enable Product Category, Category Carousel, Subcategory, and Subcategory Carousel. And that's it. Now let's edit any page with Elementor. I'll go to Pages. And let's use the home page. I'll click edit with Elementor. And let's close these. And let's scroll down. And we have some categories, but these are just Elementor containers. Okay. You can see Elementor containers with text, heading, and background image. We need something more dynamic. So let's add a container here. and let's search for category we have product category category carousel and subcategories let's use product category and we got our categories here now you can further customize these by changing the styles so style 2 3 you can notice the difference is okay and i have showed you the demos already so you can try these styles and you can keep the style that you need. We have style 6. Okay. Let me give this container some margin. Just to show you. Okay. Let's edit category again. And let's go to style 2 and we can limit the number of items now we are displaying six we can make it three okay 
we can change the number of columns to be 4 for which we will increase it we can make it 6 again we can make this 6 or go back to 3 then this is the gap between the items and the item height if you want to give it a specific height like 200 300 okay the default one was fine then you can enable and disable the image and you can change the image resolution and the count this is the count okay if you don't want to display it you can just disable it and let's bring it back and then under query you can customize the layout here which categories to display so you can display all categories only parent only child categories and you can even include and exclude categories by typing their name let's say i don't want to display smartphones so i'll go to exclude and we'll select smartphones and that's it okay so if you want to display only a specific category or specific categories you can type in their names and then you can order them by names by descending or ascending and you can hide empty categories and so on then to further customize the style like the typography colors you can go to style and here you can change the background type for this whole item to be a solid color or gradient you can give it a specific border okay you can notice the border you can change the background color for the border sorry the border color the border radius okay and the padding and you can even give it some shadow okay so all these things are dependent on you that how you want it let me go back and then you have image settings where you can give this image some background radius and you can give it specific border only to the image okay and the image effects will be visible on other layouts okay let me quickly show you so now we are only dealing with the image here in the style tab you also have CSS filters for the image then under content you can customize the content background the borders you can enable glossmorphism that will be effective in the style 6 ok I showed you and then you can give it a specific background color ok if not you can just remove it then border border radius padding and margins and box shadows which will affect only the content ok then for the title you can change the title color and the typography let me quickly show you ok and this is the count icon which is this one you can change its color the icon color the padding the icon size typography and all these so in this way you can display your product categories or subcategories in Elementor and you can further customize the style and the style tab. Again the plugin link will be given in the video description. And for more such videos you can follow my channel and still if you have any questions let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.